It's playoff time. You win, you move on. You lose, and you go home. Your season is over. I am Chris Stonebreaker, and these are the top 10 high school football games of the week. And we start off in Southern California's amazingly competitive Pac-5 division bracket for our national game of the week. Sarah versus Corona Centennial is a first round matchup between two lost teams that both have potential for a deep playoff run if they survive Friday night's opener. The Sarah Centennial winner advances to take on the victor of another one of our top 10 games. Modern day at Westlake next week. That first round Pac-5 showdown is a rematch of an October 2nd meeting won by Modern Day 28 to 27 in unlikely fashion. Westlake senior kicker Kevin Robledo, his potential game winning 33 yard field goal attempt was partially blocked as time expired. Modern Day's win over Westlake was the only other time these teams have met on the gridiron. In Indiana, number 22 Carmel tries to knock off fellow unbeaten Penn for a trip to the Class 6A state finals. These two teams are the final two unbeaten teams in the Indiana Class 6A. Penn also began last season with a 12-0 record, but lost in the same round to Carmel. This is Carmel's 17th trip to the state semifinals since 1978. Penn has made it this far 15 times since 1983. Ohio football is some of the nation's best. Number 25 and 11-0 Hudson takes on perennial power St. Ignatius in a second round Division I playoff game. St. Ignatius is the most successful playoff team in state history and are trying to extend its record number of state championships to 12. The Wildcats have more state championships than Hudson has playoff appearances. There's also one state championship tilt on the board in Sioux Falls as rivals Lincoln and Roosevelt meet at the Dakota Dome to play for the South Dakota Class 11 3A title for the second straight year. Last year, Lincoln won 47 to 24. Roosevelt has lost the past three, but still has an eight to six edge over Lincoln since 2003. This is the seventh all Sioux Falls state championship game since 2004. The Philadelphia Catholic League Class 4A Championship will be decided Friday night, and not surprisingly, the winner will be either St. Joseph's Prep or, La or LaSalle College. That's St. Joseph's Prep or LaSalle College. One of the two programs has won the title every season since the league's current playoff format began in 2008. LaSalle boasts an 8-2 record against one of the top schedules of any team in the Northeast. SJP is 6-3, which includes a 35-31 win over LaSalle on October 10th. To the Show Me State of Missouri, and in order to make a record 15th trip to a state championship game over Thanksgiving weekend, Rockhurst must firsthand Francis Howe its first loss of the season this Friday night. With two more wins this season, Rockhurst would tie Jefferson City for the most state football championships in Missouri history with 10. Francis Howe has never won a state football title. Their best finish was runner-up in 2012. There's just three undefeated teams left in Colorado Class 5A as the state quarterfinals begin, and two of them will face each other on Friday night. 11-0 Fairview takes on 11-0 Roston Valley, who won last week in dramatic fashion as senior Colin Root booted a 56-yard field goal as time expired to defeat Eagle Crest 44-43. Three. Root entered the game having converted on only two out of four field goals this season. Now to the south we go and Georgia has a dandy of a game. Grayson at 9-1 looks to send Mill Creek home with a 7-4 record. So right now they are 7-3. Friday will be the first ever meeting between these teams. Grayson is looking for its second state championship. The first came in 2011. The 10th and final game of the week is in Texas. Denton Geyer takes on Plano in a Class 6A Division II first round playoff game. After losing 55 to 41 to number three Allen to open the season, Geyer has won nine straight. Seven and three Plano has won seven state titles since 1965, but has not reached a state championship game in more than 20 years. Whew, we got a lot of stats that just went your way. Hope you paid attention. And if you didn't, you can read all about it right underneath this video with our Max Preps Top 10 High School Football Games of the Week. 
I am Chris Stonebreaker, and please remember to keep on clicking on to maxpreps.com, America's source for high school sports.